If you're learning Canvas apps, Dataverse, Model Driven apps, Power Pages, really anything in the Power Apps ecosystem, you need a free developer and account like this. Now, most people think you need a work or a school email because that's what this page says. However, there's a way to do it with a personal account. If we haven't connected yet, I'm Sean Ostrahan, and I'm excited to walk you through this. We want to first create a personal Outlook account. So I just typed in personal Outlook account here. It's gonna let me make a free personal account. I'm gonna type in create free account. It's gonna prompt you with whatever email name you want. I'm gonna type in Kathleen Johnson. She was one of NASA's first female engineers as portrayed in the movie Hidden Figures. Add whatever password you want. Add your first and last name. You might have to solve some crazy CAPTCHA puzzles because apparently the robots are taking over the world. Apparently I'm a human, some would beg to differ. Now you should end up inside of your brand new Outlook account. And now we wanna hop into the search engine and type in M365 Developer Program and open that up. It's a page like this, not to be confused with the developer, with the Power Apps developer plan. This comes next. Now let's click join now. If you're in the same browser, it should pre-populate your information and then just start filling this out. Put in whatever company name you want. You can make it up. You accept the terms and conditions and click next. Select while you're doing this. You can just pick personal projects, give them some more information about yourself, and just pick instant sandbox so it gives you all the necessary items and you don't have to cherry pick them later. And it gives you SharePoint, which is neat, because that's not even part of Power Apps. And you need to create an admin user and definitely don't lose the password. And you get 16 fictitious users that you can mess with the privileges around in case you're practicing with permissions. I like to give them all the same password in case I need to log in as them and then click continue. They want your phone number, verify the code that they text you. When you're done with all that, you can come up here and click set up E5 subscription and bada bing, you should get a page that looks like this. Note this email right here, copy it and save it somewhere safe because it's not the same email as the one you made for your personal Outlook account. This email is, is your Microsoft 365 developer account. Now we can type Power Apps developer plan into the browser, open it up. Let's click get started free. And now enter that email. You'll end up here, click on go to subscription, enter that password you put in earlier. And if you click in the top right, you will see that this email is different than your personal Outlook account. And if you click up here in the 365 waffle, you can go to explore all your apps. And then in the right over here, click on all apps. You got Power Automate, Power Pages. Just click on Power Apps here in the middle. You could also just type in make.powerapps.com into your browser and it'll take you to the same place. And now that you're here, bookmark this URL because you're gonna be coming here a lot.